Today's daily dose of math is about giving the interval of increase or decrease for a linear function, which can look like a bit of a trick question to the student. An interval of increase is determined by watching your curve as you go from left to right and seeing whether it's climbing or sinking. In the case of this first example, y equals 2x plus 1, if I create the graph, I get a line that looks like this. And it becomes apparent quickly that this is always increasing. It's always climbing as I look at it, moving from left to right. So therefore, the answer is that in question A, the first equation, my function is always increasing. And then my justification is because the slope A is positive, which I can write because a is greater than zero. When you have a positive slope, the line will always increase as you move from left to right across the graph. And when you have a negative slope, like in example b, where our slope a is negative one, you end up with a line that always sinks as you read from left to right. This line will be always decreasing, therefore. So the answer for b, always decreasing, And the justification is because a is less than zero. Or I can write because a is negative. So it turns out we don't really even need the graph to answer the question. When I look at the equation in y equals ax plus b form, I can see that the slope is positive. Therefore, this line will always be decreasing because a is greater than zero. I can give my answer without graphing it. And with this one, I can see my a is negative, the slope is negative, therefore it will be always decreasing. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.